Hello everyone, tomorrow is a Valentine's Day, so let's make something sweet. I'm gonna show you how you can make this beautiful fine dining triple chocolate dessert with poached grapefruit and rose wine gel. So let's do it. The first thing I have to make is milk chocolate bavoir. So I put milk inside the pot and make it hot and then put the gelatin leaves inside the cold water to soak up. Then I mix egg yolks with sugar inside the bowl. And I'm gonna leave full recipe for everything in the description down below so you can check it out. When the milk is almost boiling, I will mix it with the eggs slowly. Then transfer it back inside the pot and cook it until I reach 84 degrees Celsius. Now I pour the mix on top of my chocolate and leave it to melt. At this time I put also my gelatin in, mix everything properly and I gonna put it inside the fridge to cool it down a little bit. In the meantime I whip my cream and when the chocolate mix will be cold I mix both together. Now I can transfer it inside the piping bag so I can fill up my mold easily. So I put enough mix inside, push it down a little bit. Clean it with spatula and I'm gonna put it inside the fridge overnight to set. Then next day I put it inside the freezer for an hour so I can take it out from the mold. Next I start with rose wine gel. So first I grate some grapefruit zest inside the pot and then I will juice it. Next thing I need is rose wine, so I will open the bottle and put some inside the pot as well. I'm using 300 ml of juice and 500 ml of rose wine, but you can adjust it if you want to. Also put a fresh mint inside and a few spoons of sugar. Now I have to bring it to the boil. In the meantime, I measure my agar agar. And when the mix is boiling, I put agar in and I gonna cook everything for two minutes. Then just pass it through the chinois and leave it to set overnight. The next day I start with my red mirror glaze. So I mix condensed milk 
water and sugar inside a pot and bring it to the boil. In the meantime, I put gelatin inside the cold water and when the mix is very hot, I pour it on top of the white chocolate and leave it to melt. Also put my gelatin in and the last thing what I have to put in is a red food coloring. You don't want to mix it with the whisk, so like this, you don't get any bubbles inside. And I'm gonna leave it on the side to cool it down. The best temperature for glazing is around 30 degrees Celsius. And now it's time to take out my chocolate bavoise from the mold. They've been inside the freezer for around one hour, so they go out easily. I put my glaze inside the piping bag and let's glaze the rings. Unfortunately, my glaze was too cold now and I also choose too small nozzle but I will work it out somehow. So I cover the rings properly with the glaze and I put them into the freezer until I finish the rest. My rose wine gel is set now so I can cut it a little bit, transfer it inside the blender and blend it properly. I will pass it through the chinois and gel is ready for the plating. At this time, I start to freeze my white chocolate ice cream. If you wanna see full recipe and learn how to do it, check out my last video. The last thing I have to do is to make few poached grapefruit segments. So I will peel one grapefruit first and then Cut nice segments. The juice from the rest of the grapefruit I squeeze inside the pot. Also put some water and sugar in and I'm gonna bring it to the boil. Then leave it to cool down and put the segments in. But make sure the liquid is not too hot, for sure below 40 degrees Celsius, otherwise you will overcook the segments very fast. You just want to do them a little bit more sweet. Few days ago I already made my caramelized dark chocolate soil. You can watch the full recipe and learn how to do it on my Patreon page. Get a link in the description down below. I have everything ready now, so let's do the plating. I start with my ring from milk chocolate bavoir. Now it's a little bit frozen, so I can move it on the plate. But in the time I finish the plating, will be soft and nice to eat. One spoon of dark chocolate soil. Few grapefruit segments, just lightly poached in syrup. Few dots of my rose wine gel with mint. few leaves of fresh mint.
and I'm gonna finish it with white chocolate ice cream. So what do you think guys? Do you like it? Let me know in the comments. And if you would like to learn fine dining cooking from me personally, so you can create your own dishes and learn plating once for all, check out the link in the description down below and apply for my one-on-one -on -one online coaching and I'm gonna help you. That's everything for today and I see you soon.